Hi everyone, it's Jen here and welcome to Jen's Wild About Art. So today I wanted to show you my complete drawing process for portraiture. Um, I usually just go straight in with the watercolours and the drawings complete. So I thought I'd show you how I go about drawing a face. So I start by drawing an oval and then I draw, divide that oval into thirds um, because most human faces um, of, of similar proportions they're very very slightly different um, in little areas so usually generally they're, they're you can divide an oval into thirds and you'll get j roughly the right proportions and you can just adjust a little bit here and there to to suit the person so i found this lovely photograph of this old asian gentleman and I just love the expression on his face. So I thought I'd have a go and I'd uh, make this tutorial for you. So as you can see, I've divided the face into thirds. I've got his expression. I've got his little upturned lip. Um, and he's got sort of wild hair. Like he's got wild white hair. It's fantastic. It's blowing in the wind. So I'm going to do that and leave that the wide of the paper. I'll add some darker tones um, to the shadow areas on that. Um, so I'm adding his eyes in now. And I can adjust and readjust as, as I see things that need changing a little bit. I'm popping his eyebrows in and I pop all his wrinkles. So I'm doing quite a defined drawing. Um, you pop his hair in, get some wrinkles around his mouth, get his chin in. And he's got an upturned lip on that, that side, which I really liked. I just liked his smile. So yeah, I add some more details around his eyes. I pop his eyebrows in, um, add some wrinkles around his mouth. And then I roughly erase, like just gently erase so the lines aren't so harsh. <clears throat> erase all those pencil marks um, just so that they're softer when I add the paint. I change the angle on that eye a little bit. I realise it wasn't quite right. And then I add some more wrinkles around and add some more detail around his eyebrows. Pop his irises in. Now, now this is where the shadows are going to go on the sides of his forehead. And I've got to change the shape on his chin just a little. So now I'm mixing up my paints and I'm going straight in with a thin wash of Venetian red and pyrrole orange and I use that for his skin tone and I just do a wash of that completely over his face, just leaving his eyes um, clear and then I go down onto his neck and I pop it down there as well. So I make up a slightly darker tone, so less water, more pigment of the same colour, pyrrole red and, uh, uh, pyrrole orange, sorry, and Venetian red. And I add that into the shadow areas on his face and start to build up um, the shadow areas and it'll add the, the features to his face, give him some three-dimensional, the three-dimensionality. So I darken up anywhere that's going to be darker, pop a few wrinkles in, just very lightly. And now I go in an even darker tone. So I've added a little bit of blue to the, the, to the Venetian red just to make a purple tone. And I'm taking that around all of his wrinkly areas and I'll pop that onto his lips as well. And I'll just very dilute it around his nostrils. And that will dry a couple of tones paler. So, you know, it looks quite strong for now, but it does pale off when it dries. And I add the shadows around under his chin and onto his neck. And you can see he's starting to get some detail now. So for his hair, his hair's white, but underneath where it's sort of against his head, it's quite dark in the shadow. So I use Payne's Grey for that. And he's got a lovely shirt on, like a, a track suit, I think it is. And it's red and pink. <laughs> so I thought that was fun. So I added, um, I started with, uh, what colour is that? That is magenta. And I add a few darker purples as I go. Um, onto his eyes, I add burnt sienna. And now I'm starting to go back in with the purpley tone. Uh, to his wrinkles, his eyebrows. Actually, I use the I use the Payne's Grey for his eyebrows with a little bit of brown in it, and then back into his hair with a slightly stronger consistency of Payne's Grey. And then I go back to working on his eyes. So I pop his pupils in. So I did his irises with um, burnt sienna. Now I'm popping the detail around the top of his eye and into his tear ducts there. He doesn't have eyelashes that I can see, so I didn't worry about painting those in. I just darken up the line between his lips um, and then add some darker tones to his nostrils. And I start to build up his facial features. So there's a good shadow on that side of his nose and down around his cheek. I define his wrinkles a bit more and he's got happy lines between his eyes. <laughs> and then I darken up his eyelids because he's got um, his brows are shaded and start to pop the shadows in around the rest of his face. 
and his expression lines. And he's quite dark down around his neck, so I add the shadows down there and onto his Adam's apple and down around the side of his shirt. And I decide to add uh, ultramarine blue to the background and I cut around his hair, just um, take the watercolour around and leave little bits where I want his hair to, because his hair's blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> it looks fantastic. So I had a bit of fun just doing that. And um, I actually go on to where his hair is a couple of times. So what I do is I literally take a wet brush, clean wet brush and scrub that. And then I can um, sop it up with a piece of cloth and I can lift out that paint. As long as I get it quick enough, I can blot that out and the paper goes back to white. So now I add a few varying tones of reds and purples to his shirt just to give it some shape. Um, or it's, his, it's like a track suit jacket, I think. So it's a, just a fantastic colour and he just looks like such a happy fella. So I go in with a few different reds and purples and I just add them in the crease, er add darker tones in the crease areas. So it, eventually it builds up and it looks like he's sort of got his arms folded. He's leaning forward, sort of slouching with his arms folded in front of him. So I've got, it's all creased up. So I add, start to add those textures in. So I make up a stronger purple for the shadow areas around his collar that goes down onto his neck. And take that around and I start to build up all the darker tones and as you can see see how it starts to make him look like his arms are curling around in front of him he's sort of leaning with his arms crossed over his lap and looking at us with a smile <laughs> so yeah you can see now I'm starting to build up these tones and it's very very um, impressionist like it's not photographic or anything it's just an impressionist painting it's sort of how I, I see his expression how I see his clothes you know looking very quickly draw it's a very quick drawing this only took me um, an hour from start to finish so now I darken up the shadows around his face and add some more definition onto his expression lines and onto his wrinkles and anywhere I can see slightly darker tones around his cheeks he's got lovely cheekbones and there are his ears over there so I'm popping his ears in because I forgot his ears I always forget ears <laughs> and I try and lift off a little bit of that color on the tip of his nose I've got a little bit little bit too much color there but that's okay and then I add a little bit of blue to his the whites of his eyes because his eyes were way too bright and you can barely see in the, in the reference you can barely see his eyes so I add his ears in finish off um, with some darker tones around the side of his nose and around the side of his face and anywhere that I can see, just he's got a bit of a shadowy bit up the top of his head, onto his forehead. And just add some more into those darker areas. Go really dark into his hairline and around his collar and onto his sleeves. Just to give that a real sort of three-dimensional look. And I just go in with, you can see they're really, really loose strokes. It's lots of fun. Highly recommend it. Anyway, just have a practice with portraits. It is lots and lots of fun. And it doesn't matter if it's not exactly like the subject. You know, I've got the basics of the expression. I've got, you know, got the look I was after. So I'm really happy with it. Um, and lots more practicing to go. So I finish off by defining his nostrils. And yeah, we're just about done. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, I'd love it if you click like and subscribe, click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified when I release a new video. And thank you so much for watching. Anyway, have an awesome day and I will see you all for the next video. Okie doke. Bye.